welcome to the Bass Lab. Today we're going to talk about muting and how it can take your bass playing to the next level. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced bass player, one of the most important skills to master is muting. By being able to stop the strings when you want in an articulated way, you'll be able to make a strong, rhythmic, punchy bass line. I'm going to go over a couple techniques today using your left hand and right hand to give you the tools to make it really happen. All right, the first way we'll discuss is right hand muting. This is with alternating index and middle finger. The other finger will come in a little bit early and stop the note from ringing. So if I play first with index finger on open A, second finger comes in and mutes. Then second finger plays, and first finger comes in and mutes. If I speed it up, I'll get a staccato type sound. Legato with no muting. Now with muting. See how this affects a bass line like maybe Peter Gunn. Without muting. And then with muting. The next muting technique to master on the bass uses just the left hand. The right hand's going to just play the note, but the left hand, after the note's played, is going to release its pressure on the string and relax. So if I play one on E and I play the note with the right hand and I just relax the pressure, the note will stop. I'm not taking the left hand away from the bass. I'm just keeping it on the string relaxed. So let's take a look at that. Play and release the pressure. I play it and then release the pressure. This is a super useful technique and I use it all the time. Here's an example from Pink Floyd's song, Money. You can see with those notes, I'm just releasing the pressure and letting the relaxed hand stay on, on the strings and mute it. The last type of muting we're going to talk about today is palm muting, and that means using the palm of your right hand. We're going to lay the palm of our right hand along the bridge across all of the strings. This is going to give us a continuous mute, one that we can't control, it's just going to be always happening, and it gives us a sound almost like a pizzicato of a stand-up bass. You can listen to the strings. And this is cool to play old style funk like Freddy's Dead by Curtis Mayfield. Certainly there's plenty more to learn about muting on the bass. As the style, songs, and context you're playing change, you may need to modify these techniques. However, by learning these three techniques, I think it'll give you a solid foundation for making strong, punchy, rhythmic bass lines. Good luck. Hey, hey.